You know what kind of annoys me though in this whole rap game is the beef with Eminem and MGK annoyed the shit out of me. Me too, man. The the songs were dope. I mean, I gotta give it to them. Not yeah. a like great song. Rap Devil, great song. Yes. Kill Shot. We, we can discuss about that, but not important for now. But what I hate is a beef is fun. It can just be straight up fun, you know, just calling each other names, dissing each other. But now you get this whole war between the two uh, audiences of those artists. I'm like, what's even happening? All these Eminem fans, they are still commenting on Machine Gun Kelly's videos. It's It's been two years, man. Like, get over it. <laughs> like, why are you still commenting on this? Just listen to him. Or if you don't like him, don't listen to him. But don't don't start hating. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Eminem has a cult following. That's just what it is. Like MGK, I hope he knew what he was getting himself into because you're not only battling like one of the, I don't coin anybody greatest, but there has been no one on earth that has come close to beating Eminem in a battle. (laughs) So like you're battling that. Plus you're going to battle his fans and his fans are ruthless. Like cult members, they are ruthless. And like you said, it's two years later, you're still not getting away from it. You're never going to live that down. No, and what I kind of hate though is I don't know why this happened, but after the the dissing, uh, Machine Gun Kelly dropped Binge, which is probably his worst album of his whole career. Like I don't know if that's his label pushing or him him being desperate, like I need to drop something now because you know I'm in in the spotlight. But if he yeah. just waited for a year and how he would have dropped Hotel Diablo, yeah, that would have made a Hotel Diablo is a great album that will make such a difference. And then yeah, he, now, of course, uh, Tickets to My Downfall is great as well. Completely something else, which I really respect. But Yeah, he messed up there. I think that like that's where he dropped the ball. Like um, He probably could have captured a lot more fans if he would have waited a little bit. But he probably, like like you said, he got a little anxious, a little impatient. Dropped the album that was, it was my least favorite by him by far. Yeah, like, I, I don't even I listen to any songs on it. And that's not like me for MGK. So, yeah, like... He, I, I do like uh, Lately. Lately and Local are, are cool, though, but... Other than that, no, I'm not really. Yeah. But, um, and I, I listen to rock and metal as well. So f- I really like the fact that he dropped in a pop, pop punk album. Jesus, talking is hard. A pop punk album. And it kicked ass. It was really good. That, I was, was blown really away by that album. And like, I, I just yeah. beyond love it, man. I listened to it in the gym, like religiously. It is so good. Yeah. Like, it's like the old school 90s music mixed with today's music. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like Blink, hearing Blink 182 yeah. in a modern style uh, Ex- kind of thing. Exactly, man. Like, that's who they were. And, and, um, and I think Machine Gun Kelly is going to drop a fucking good hip-hop album after this. I have this feeling. I don't know why, but like blowing everybody away with um, with another hip-hop album instead of a pop punk. But one thing I would like to see, though, is Eminem and NG Game on a song. It's never going to happen, but that will be the greatest thing ever. You know, the one thing I got really disappointed about um, when it came to that, that whole um, dissing thing is like Eminem kind of started it in a way, right? Like he, he released a song that where he's dissing like every rapper in the game. And so I don't think MGK was in it, but like MGK coattailed it from a different situation. The thing I got upset about where I, I was like, how come he's not dissing Joyner Lucas? Why aren't you going after the people that could actually like compete? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then Joyner Lucas is on his album. I'm like, dude, you're finding all your competition and making them your team. <laughs> like, <laughs> this isn't fair. Like, I think like Joyner Lucas would be like the only guy that would like give him a run for his money. What do you think? I don't know. I I, I think he's able to because the Tory Lanes and Joyner uh, beef was cool. Yeah, that was a really good um, one. I, I think he could actually. So I I just said it with the kill shot, uh, the song kill shot, kill shot had had some great great lines in there, but I think I didn't compare it to the energy of rap Daffle. So lyrically, I Eminem I think Eminem can beat everybody, uh, but song wise, I don't know. You have to cool come up with something dope as well. I totally agree with you. I think MGK's song was way better, but let's face it, that was a battle. So you know, when it came to Eminem, like he. Um, it's his cadence and how he could write. Uh, it's like he's really good at being a comedian on a song and making you laugh. <laughs> and like, that's where Joyner Lucas would struggle. Like, you're not going to beat him there because he's just going to take something that you've done in your life and then make like write a joke in in a in a bar 
you know, and, and make everyone laugh. And like, that's how you really capture fans and exactly. win those battles. And, and me as a rapper, I'm, I think I'm going to stay away from beefing just forever. The reason why is, you know, your ego gets in the way again. You want to, somebody says something bad about you and you want to respond and be the bigger man and blah, 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 blah. That's what I like about NF and Logic. Just say, screw it. If you're ever going to diss me, I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to be me, rap about real shit. And if you're expecting a, a diss back, no, probably not. The only reason I would diss somebody, if it's for fun. Like, if I know a rapper that, hey, let's do a diss fun thing, just have a little competition, but I still respect you, though. I'm not going to talk about your fucking daughter or whatever. Yeah, I like that, man. Like, because really, um, hip-hop's pretty notorious for killing each other after these things, right? So, mm. um, it turns I mean, it, uh, turns ugly. Yeah, the the, the Tupac, uh, Notorious Big, is a good example of that, of course. Like, they both got killed. We Nobody knows what happened. Well, and there's so much like Pop Smoke. Um, I know that that was like a beef inside it. I think it may have been his friend or something like that, but that was a beef. Like you could really go down a lot of these um, artists that have been shot and killed or whatever. And it was like stemmed from, you know, some sort of beef that they had. And like, it, it maybe it wasn't yeah, a battle rap, but so it's weird. beefing, you know? And like, why do that? Like it just, nothing good comes from this. Like I said, friendly exactly. competition. Oh, and this is one important thing to know as well for everybody in the industry. If I say... I don't really like that song. It doesn't mean I hate you. Like there's a difference between not liking something and, and hating. I respect everybody. I respect all, mu all musicians, all genres. I don't really care. But if I say now, for instance, we are live on YouTube, of course, I, I probably, I probably said something that will piss off Eminem fans, right? It's not about that. I'm not insulting anybody. It's just my opinion. Who cares about my opinion? It's just my subjective matter of listening to music. I may, like one song better than the other, like this got nothing to do with you or even the person that makes it. It's just my subjective, like the projection of, of me. So if you get pissed, just don't, it's got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Unfortunately, like those are the people that love to say something too, you know, and if you are that person, you get offended. Um, try to understand that, that that's something you got to work on inside yourself. Like um, you're going to walk through life and encounter people with different views of you your entire life on a weekly basis. Exactly. And you're going to have to learn how to For deal sure. with this. So you got to deal with it yourself. And if someone has a different view from you, the best thing to do is just not say anything. Like, just who cares? Exactly. Who cares? And th this is going to be a good topic for the next podcast. Uh, this is going to be our longest, Jesus, 52 minutes in. 